we actually purchased the business uh, three months before COVID hit, so it was just in time. Then we were shut down for a while, then we reopened last summer and the same thing happened this year again. But the reception from the public has been amazing for the summertime. So we are so busy, so ever since we reopened we are basically been so busy every single day. We haven't had one lull day and it's the immense support of the people in the town and the visitors. There's definitely a huge change just in the demeanor of everybody and as well as with the businesses opening, you can tell that business owners are, are extremely excited for this, um, things are coming back to normal, there's this excitement that's around and, and based on conversations that we've had with businesses, they seem to be doing really well, a lot of them. Um, they're bouncing back, uh, people are coming into their stores, they're still online ordering um, and I think that this shows that the businesses have been extremely resilient and that's a big takeaway from this. Um, and so I think one of the bigger challenges I will state is that uh, staffing has been an issue, which I'm sure many people have heard. Um, but if you go into businesses, you'll see like a, a help wanted or hiring sign. And so that has been a challenge, um, which I think it's tough for sure, especially now that things are opening up. Um, but I do think that there is a way that businesses can overcome this. We did overcome over a year of pandemic. So, so and, and the resiliency is really there with the businesses. Um, and also in the past week, we've seen an increase of um, businesses getting free rapid test, getting, uh, getting free rapid test kits uh, from the chamber. So I think that also that indicates that that business owners and um, and people are are trying to avoid a fourth wave, um, and they are seeing the positive impact of continuing to test and to get vaccinated. So our team at the Chamber and, and Service Ontario were fully vaccinated. And so we're also trying to encourage that because that's going to that's going to be what maintains the openness um, of Gravenhurst. So if there's a fourth wave, I know that we will survive because we've gone through two of these stages already. So if we can survive that, we can survive anything now.